businesses they kind of uh, mean area you walk into. There's a few people uh, hanging out. I can see a bus that was waiting. I probably to take them uh, back to the airport. Stop to the right here is um, kind of main lobby area. check-in. So when you first come off the bus, you'll uh, probably come in here. Here you can see the check-in uh, off to the right. And it's nice and air-conditioned in here, so if it gets too hot, this is a good place to come and uh, just relax. We've got a little library set up there. Got the lobby bar here that I think is open pretty late. It's been open any time I've been here. Actually, there was one down by the beach that's open 24-7. I think this one closes at 11, as I recall. Got a couple of TVs in here. Just uh, continue on the way to the beach uh, through here. You can also see here's where you uh, meet your uh, reps for the various tour, uh, tour companies. Okay, so for now we're back outside. Now this is another area here um, this is where you book your uh, your dinners. So we've got our uh, restaurants booked there. Um, and down at the end here is where you can rent the, um, they've got a couple of ATVs and scooters. Uh, so far we haven't had luck uh, renting the ATVs. They've only got two of them, but the scooters seem to be in uh, low demand. And also I've seen bicycles outside there. I'm not sure if they're rented there or somewhere else. I'll have to look into that. And here they've got this nice um, sort of water feature. I'm gonna walk back over this way. This kind of shows you uh, where all the restaurants are. So you've got all sorts of turtles and uh, and fish uh, swimming in this uh, water area here. You see, this is a pretty new resort. I, I think it's like maybe only a year old or something. Everything is uh, in good shape, good working order, which is uh, which is nice. Now, off on the uh, the left hand side, here is uh, one of the restaurants. There's, I think, three a la carte restaurants, but uh, since there there's not that many people here. Um, they've just got one open each night, so we've kind of just rotated between uh, the different ones. Uh, here's a, kind of a lounge bar. You can see we got some outside seating here for the restaurant and the left. And one more LA card restaurant here. I think this is where yeah, we ate there one night. So far, the food has been uh, excellent. I've got another video that goes through all the various uh, food options uh, and restaurants. And this is, yeah, this is the last one. It's got a um, kind of a Japanese teppanyaki uh, uh, style. And here's the kind of hangout kind of close to the bar, so, or close to the beach, I should say. This is the beach uh, beach bar. And then there's the buffet uh, down there. So you can sit outside if you want with your buffet. And you can see the beach uh, down there. I'll do a separate uh, tour on the beach. This is a pretty large resort, so I'm going to keep, uh, keep up with the... Uh, going to the resort area. This is kind of a sandy area here. Now I gotta say the sand here is uh, is not excellent. It's, uh, I don't know, it's probably not that comfortable to walk in in your bare feet in this area here. You don't have shoes on. You should really uh, get some nice green sand and dump it down to make it a bit nicer, but uh, you know, maybe they'll do that later. So here's another uh, bar area that's not open yet. Not sure when this one opens, but I certainly used it during the day. You can see a lot more uh, seating. And this must be another buffet section here. Um, 
Now this hasn't been opened at all. This is probably when they're at higher capacity they would use this area. Um, the bar has been open every day, but this, uh, you can see they've got a buffet uh, section through here. Oh, it actually is open. Yeah, but this section here, uh, no one's been, uh, it hasn't been, in, hasn't been used yet. Um, and what I really like about this place, since uh, this week uh, the Euros are on, they've got a massive uh, big screen TV up on top here. Been watching uh, a number of the games uh, in the afternoon. Uh, Especially one day it was kind of raining in the afternoon, so it gave us something to do. Uh, so this is a sort of big uh, open area. Actually, we should take a look. Uh, you can see a fair bit of the uh, fair bit of the resort uh, from up here. Anyways, in the background there, you can see the. Uh, large screen TV. You can see a fair bit of a uh, fair bit of sand off towards the beach. As I was saying earlier, the sand is is not that great for walking on. You can see uh, so they've got the boardwalks in. It's a nice greenery. You can see the uh, workers out there. Usually, those the landscapers are not are usually out early in the morning before it gets too hot. Okay, so we're. Uh, you can kind of see the main. Uh, well, this is the main pool right here pretty decent size. You can see there's no trouble getting a chair. No one's uh, reserving chairs early on. There's lots of uh, lots of shade with the umbrellas. You see in the background there, you can see there's sort of three uh, buildings that kind of make a, a U-shape. And here we've got another uh, kind of snack bar, plus bar. You see the swim up pool there. And this place is uh, open pretty late as well. Not sure what ex what time, but the one over by the, the, the main buffet, that one's open 24-7, uh, I believe. This one's got somewhat limited amount of alcohol, but here, if you just wanna get a snack anytime, when the buffet's not open, you can come here. They've got pizza sandwiches. I had a pizza here one day, it was good. And definitely, I would rate this uh, this place probably uh, probably not probably uh, definitely the best food that I've had uh, in Cuba. Um, that's one of the one of the highlights of uh, of this location. So you can see down towards the uh, beach, and over on the other side is the level section, um, which is kind of higher end uh, uh, adults only. It's still kind of under construction, although we could have gotten a room upgrade. Um, I wasn't really sure. We'd already paid for the swim out, which was uh, kind of expensive to start with. And given that the level, like not all the restaurants there, I, I don't think they're all open yet. It didn't really seem like a good, uh, good value. Um, okay. Yeah, so this is the, the kind of the level section just off to my left. And then the main, uh, the regular section here, you can see all the buildings. I'll just take a little walk around here. So you can see there's lots of uh, palm trees. Uh, not, not too tall yet, they'll get taller with time. They tend to grow pretty quick. Here's the, uh, all the swim out. Uh, sections which I'd really recommend the swim houses are really nice rooms a little little more money but uh, I think I think worth it you see the water's nice and clear the the tiles and that are all in good shape 
the maintenance guys seem to be busy uh, keeping things running uh, smoothly. Down there, that's where they've got all the the pumps and whatnot to keep the water properly uh, properly filtered and clean. So the ones on this side, they get the uh, tend to get the morning uh, sun. Over on the other side, which is where we were, we tend to get the afternoon sun. Although this time of year is Pretty warm, you really <laughs> be warm enough with or without the sun, that's for sure. Okay, so we're getting back to the uh, kind of where we started the main entrance here, and um, let me show you the, uh, the ATVs you can rent. So they've got one of these small guys which I've seen these in being used in Kale Largo, but there's only one, so, you know, I don't know about that. Um, here's the dune buggies. Um, I forget the prices, I think they were 40 bucks or 60 bucks for four hours, and you get a little bit longer if you wanted them longer. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely try to rent those one day. <laughs> Check this out, <laughs> the cats they put in there. Um, and then over here, they've got uh, some bicycles all wrapped up, so, I gotta inquire about that. If you can rent those, or they're free from the hotel, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, you can see all the different uh, different flags there from the different countries that uh, come here, and this is um, fairly unique. Most of the places we've gone to seem to be dominated by. Uh, people from Canada, basically Sunwing or Air Transat flying in, uh, where most of the people, uh, you know, either mostly from Ontario or Quebec seems to be uh, the two big ones here. But very, when we got off our bus here, there was just one other couple coming in on our flight. And we landed in Santa Clara. It's about a two-hour drive here, which is the same drive that you would get to go to uh, Kio Santa Maria, although a much more interesting drive, I would say. Um, Okay, so now we're back at the uh, start here, and uh, I just want to show you a couple more things here down on the uh, down on the right side here. So this is where we saw before. This is the lobby area where you check in and all that. And there's some other. Uh, buildings down here right this is where we did the uh this is where you get your car rental and your uh, dinner reservations we saw that before now along this stretch there's a few more things that are kind of interesting ah the mini club yes right so this is for children area right so there's a place to drop your kids off or and there's all sorts of it's probably not open now but i remember looking in you can see little tables and chairs they've got all sorts of games and various things they can do in there, which is nice. It's air conditioned, so definitely one of the nicer kind of kid sections I've seen in a Cuba hotel. And uh, a ping pong room, which is really nice because often you see a ping pong table sitting out in the wind and there's just, you can't play ping pong in the wind. So there it's uh, uh, inside. Okay, so I think we're pretty well shown you everything that uh, that I'm planning to show um, anyways thanks again for uh, watching uh, watching the video and please uh, please subscribe and uh, like if you enjoyed and you'll get more uh, future updates and you can you can even check out some of my era, earlier uh, videos to see uh, what other places I've been to and what uh, what you might like <laughs>